Rock. Some real shit for you niggas. Uh-huh. Check it out. Am I weak or am I strong? Can the mind carry me home? I'm striving to get this money, but Kyra say that is on. Who am I not to do me, nigga, and get it on? I'm striving to get this money, but Kyra say that is on. I'm having dreams of my enemies killing me. Cause the way I be chasing my currency and dealing with bitches who work on their knees. The bees are young jeans, so I don't sleep. Cause I got seed to feed, so I take no dose. To ride with calicos and 40 foes. Made me a sick individual, mind of a criminal. Acts of a serial killer, nigga, don't make me get at you. Gotta get this money, nigga. I be damn left on bummy while laughing at you niggas getting this cake. You niggas fake. Shoot the A out the cake. So what can I say? Spring with niggas don't play. RIP A wash from the fuck all y'all gon' stand tall. Am I weaker? Am I strong? Can my mind carry me on? I'm striving to get this money, but Kyra say that is on. Who am I? Not I got um this video I ran across. It's this it's this girl talking about what she recognized in herself. So I just want to see what people's opinion is about this. What do y'all think? Uh, me personally, I think it's good self awareness, uh, awareness, self awareness. So let's listen to her, see what she's talking about. Let's let's check it out. So the point of me making this live was basically I realized today that I have nothing to offer a man, nothing. And I feel like it took, number one, it took me uh, 32 years to realize it because I just found that out today. So I was today years old when I realized it. And then um, it took me a lot of pride swallowing to be able to admit it. Um, I'm going to tell you why I feel the way I feel. This is not based off anyone else. This is only based off myself. But I just wanted to share it just in case it may help somebody else. I feel like I don't have anything to offer to a man because a man asked me, what I had to offer him. And it was the way he asked that made me realize that I don't. He simply stated, I realize that you're single, but tell me what would I benefit from having you as my woman. Now, outside of the basics, like, oh, I look nice, I can cook, I work, I didn't have nothing else to offer. And the reason I realized that I didn't is because I got to thinking about myself and all I've been doing for oh so many years is just working and taking care of kids. I don't know necessarily what I'm into, so they're, they're both hobbies. I'm not necessarily sure my feminine level of energy because majority of my relationships, I wore the pants. So how can you, as a woman, offer to be a woman to a man if you've never fully been a woman? I am a woman because I'm a female, but I'm talking about like actually be a woman, like to a man. I've never experienced that, so I don't know what that feels like. So I can't honestly say that I have anything to offer as far as a woman outside of just being a woman. So that means all I really do have to offer is some pussy because I'm a woman and we have one. That's really not enough. I can't honestly say I can, invite, I can offer you a nurturing environment because I'm too frustrated about the children that I have and the lack of help that I have with them. So it's like I can't necessarily be so nurturing to you when I'm frustrated at the amount of nurturing that I'm already doing. So therefore, I know I can't offer you that. I can offer cooking for you, but then it, to me it comes at a price because if you're coming and you're sitting and you're eating my food and you're not providing any of it, I'm going to fill away. So now I'm offering you bitterness. That's not anything a man wants. Why would you want a bitter female? Well, I'm bitter because of my own merits. So it's not your job to fix the bitterness, it's my job to fix. As, as much as I want a man to come to me ready, able to provide, work, and handle himself, I think that me as a female, I need to have my emotions in check because if a man wants peace, I don't have any because I'm frustrated. I'm bitter, I'm emotional, I'm upset. So I made this video because today I realized that I don't have anything to offer a man outside of good looks. And I learned that I don't want a man for just his looks. So how can I be so selfish and se and and only offer a bare minimum and expect so much? That is some unfair shit. Now, I don't know about all these other females. Other females may not agree or even feel the way I feel about the children that I have and the lack of help that I have with them. So it's like I can't necessarily be so nurturing to you when I'm frustrated at the amount of nurturing that I'm already doing. So therefore, I know I can't offer you that. I can offer cooking for you, but then it, to me it comes at a price because if you're coming and you're sitting and you're eating my food and you're not providing any of it, I'm a fill away. So now I'm offering you bitterness. That's not anything a man wants. Why would you want a bitter female? Well, I'm bitter because of my own merits. So it's not your job to fix the bitterness, it's my job to fix. As, as much as I want a man 
to come to me ready, able to provide, work, and handle himself. I think that me as a female, I need to have my emotions in check because if a man wants peace, I don't have any because I'm frustrated. I'm bitter, I'm emotional, I'm upset. So I made this video because today I realized that I don't have anything to offer a man outside of good looks. And I learned that I don't want a man for just his looks. So how can I be so selfish and se and and only offer a bare minimum and expect so much? That is some unfair shit. Now, I don't know about all these other females. Other females may not agree or even feel the way I feel. But I know me, I know the man that I'm, I'm looking for and wanting, I'm not even half of him. So the reason that I'm even talking about all of this is because I watched a video that Steve Harvey had a while ago um, and what he said was that when you're out looking for a spouse, you should find a person that is a cup that is the same type of cup as you. So if you imagine yourself as a water bottle, and this is two Ozarka bottles, if you meet a, a spouse that is just a cat, and then you're a bottle, when you go into pouring into this person, they're a cat. So that means they can only hold a cap full of what you've poured. Well, if you pour everything you got into them, they've only held a cap full amount. So now it's time for them to pour back into you and all they have is the cat. But you're still this whole bottle. So you expect this little cap to fill all of you up. That doesn't work. So now I'm realizing I've been walking around feeling like a bottle, but really I'm a cat. And I'm out here looking for bottles, and niggas are shaped like bottles, ain't full of shit. And I have nothing to fill them with. So I'm empty and low, and these men are empty too, and I'm out here mad about it. So I have to take a step back, and I've just learned this. I have to take a step back and look at myself and realize, girl, you don't even have shit to offer while you're out here mad at these men. So how about you focus on getting you something to offer a man that would be something that they could walk away from you and feel like, you know what, I, I, got, I can't live without her. Because without her, I can't do this, this, and this, and this. Because I'm telling you, with me, you can get you some attitude. All the bitches got attitude. Well, I got one of them. Nobody wants that. And with me, you can get a baby because I seem to make those. But all the bitches do that. So what about me is going to be different from this next female? I'm about to take the time to figure that shit out. So I just want to share with y'all that some of us ladies may not necessarily have anything to offer a man. And we don't realize that because we feel like we're a woman and that's enough. But if you want a man to be more than just a nigga, then you're going to kind of have to be more than just a bitch. Okay, that's all. Have a good day. So, basically, at the end of the day, now this goes for men and women, men and women. We all have to look in, into ourselves and see where we lack, see where we need, where we could improve at, and and and, and try to fix those things if you care. Some people don't care. There's going to be a lot of people that, that listen to that. Or see that video and, and just gonna say, man, she's tripping. It's gonna be a lot of women talking about she's tripping. She's tripping. But no, in actuality, she hit it dead on the head. You gotta figure out what it is about and that don't even just be that ain't done that doesn't even mean just relationships. That's period in life. Like you gotta look into yourself and see what you need improving in and improve it. Well if you care about having a better life, you know, if you care about elevating your life. Cause you one thing you'll never do is stop learning. You'll always learn. So, if you care about learning, then you're gonna always dig deep inside and try to figure out how to elevate to that next step. She said a mouthful, man. She said a lot. I, I dig it. I dig it a lot. I think, you know, we, we. I mean, we all can't have that self awareness, I guess, because. If, if everybody was on the same page, then it wouldn't be such thing as right or wrong. You wouldn't know what right is if everything was right. You know what I mean? You wouldn't know what wrong is if everything was wrong. Or I shall say, if everything was wrong, you wouldn't know what right is. If everything was right, you wouldn't know what wrong is. So everybody is not capable of, well, everybody's capable, I guess, of thinking on a different level. But everybody's not going to think on a different level. You know, it, you gotta have, like I said, you gotta have all these pieces to play the game. You gotta have your pawn. You gotta have your castle. I mean, um, your rook. You gotta have your knight. You know, your bishop. You gotta have your king, queen, blah blah blah. It all makes the game. So, you know, you need every, you need all the pieces to play the game. So I understand, you know, we're not going to have everybody thinking on the same accord and whatever. But, you know, individually, like for yourself, you know, everybody got to work on itself. 
if you're a person that care about elevating, then these are the type of you know these are the type of thoughts you need to have. You know, if you're into that, if you if you are trying to get into that, this is the type of stuff you need to hear before you can figure it out. Like, oh yeah, it's this is what I need to work on to do this, to do that, blah blah. blah. Now, as far as relationship goes, she says some key stuff. As far as like, okay, if you're a, if you're a bottle, and this and another, the other person is just a cap. You know, obviously the cap can only hold so much. You pour that it overflows. They gonna have a little bit. When it's time to pour back into you, key word. When it's time to pour back into you, because everybody, if you're in a relationship, you got pour into that person. The person pour into you. Um, even like, even if you're in a role of where, say the whoever, whichever one is the most, always on a square, always got their shit together. They gonna need somebody to help them out when they get weak because they will everybody gets weak and stuff so if you're a cat full of water obviously you can't fill up a fucking bottle you know what i mean so i guess that's important too though like i guess that even goes to when you meet somebody in the first place when you meet somebody and you get to ask some questions about you know you know what they into in life what they goals is and stuff of that nature People might not take the truth right away, but you'll figure it out if you're around them a couple of times. You know, you'll figure it out. So you got to choose wisely. A lot of us don't choose wisely. A lot of us go, you know, a lot of us um, date off of attractions and money, and it ain't never really genuine a lot of times as far as who is this person for real. We don't really get to know that until we end up having kids or, you know, some people get married first, then it's a divorce. And, you know, you usually don't know until it's too late kind of sometimes, a lot of times. So that's important when you meet somebody to, to um, you know, like have like-minded. You know, you don't want nobody thinking just like you or nothing like that. You gotta have people in their own lanes, but y'all gotta have some. You know, like you gotta be, you gotta be goals or um, things that yeah, goals is what you accomplish, and you gotta be things. You gotta be, y'all gotta, y'all gotta match somehow. You know, y'all gotta match a, a little bit. I mean, you ain't got to be like this, bro. I mean, it could be like that. But but if you're like this, that don't work. It's like magnets. Magnets that, you know, go away from each other instead of coming together. You know? So I just wanted to share that because I thought that was very, very, um, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, profound and all that good stuff. Like, that was very insight. you know, like, that was insightful and, Wow, to hear people, you know, when you hear people sit there and, and, and put their problems on the table, it's a beautiful thing. It's just like what they say in AA and all that type of stuff, treatment. Um, you can't fix the problem until, you willing, until you're willing to admit that you have a problem. You feel me? So, yeah, that was, that was nice. I, I, I definitely dig, I definitely dug that one, man. But, um, yeah, that was a quick one, man. Y'all go ahead and tell me how y'all feel about that and, you know, leave me some comments and stuff and, do you believe that, um, do you believe that, you know, it's things that you need to work on? You know, that's a trick question, because if you don't think you need to work on nothing, then you, you, that's, you need to work on something. You know what I'm talking about? But, um, yeah, man, we're going to get into it, man. LTA, man, get at me.